start, you know, moving in that direction. And then on top of that, and you're probably seeing this, we're seeing it here, customers wanting to supply their own parts. Yeah. So my yeah. question to you is how are you handling that? Because I know how I'm handling it. I'll tell you about it, but I just, I'm just curious to see how you're handling that. So I, I, uh, when I took over the district, there was a lot of, uh, we, we don't do it. Uh, we don't install their people's parts. And what I explained to customers is that, you know, first of all, we have to offer a warranty. So when we, you two things, we put that part in and that, let's just say that unit blows up and it's your own part. We have no idea where you got it. Who's responsible. We own the unit now because we put it in, but we didn't mm -hmm. buy the part. So it's just a, it's a protection for both sides. Secondly, you know, you know, we warranty, yeah. We have, we have to warranty it right and we have to do the warranty returns it's it's not we don't make money we're here to make money is just as well as they are we're not here we don't make money on just labor um right. so we don't do it um and and usually the customer can understand it you know the warranty thing is a big one that we push and let them know that um you know there is a time where i help out i'll help out somebody and say i'll do it this time but there's no warranty on it yeah. yep understand that but uh, you know, and it's and it's the age old thing where when you talk to customers, how do you how do you relay it? And if you have a good relationship, there's been times where you you can use the old adage like, you got to understand like I couldn't come to your restaurant and have you cook chicken. I can't bring chicken to you and have you cook it for labor. You wouldn't yeah. do that for me either. So you know we're here to we're here to be fair, um, but that's just something we can't do. Yeah. No, you said it all. And I was going to give the analogy too with, Hey, listen, I'm going to come to the restaurant with a burger and a bun. You're going to cook it for me. And I'm going to say, Hey, listen, just charge me for whatever the labor is. What is it? Man, maybe $2 and 50 cents. Yeah. I don't, I don't need to pay that old $12 for the meal. I mean, it's the same. It's, it really is the same thing. And there's a liability liability issue too. You don't know where I got this meat. Is it going to make me sick? And now I'm going to come back to you and say, you made me sick. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of those things and it's, it's happening. And um, I've actually lost a, a pretty decent customer because they were trying to supply parts. And I, I, I not only said you're not gonna have a warranty to them, I, I, I explained to them my labor rate because it was a lot of locations. They had yeah. a discounted labor rate. I said, you're now going back to my regular street rate. Right. They couldn't understand any of this. So they said, well, we're not gonna do business with you anymore. And I, I, you know, I don't think that's my customer at the end of the day anymore. So I was, you know, we part ways. So. Yeah, so, and sometimes those, you know, sometimes they come back when they realize. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. you know, because we're not. It's not. You're not any different than any other company. I mean, we're all get like I tell them. We get all get the parts from the same places. It's it's just you you know if you can reshape their mind, that's the thing. You got to make make them understand that other, that other side of the beach ball because it's you know if they were in business, they 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 don't do it in their end. They gotta they gotta understand that you can't. It just we can't. You can't do it in automotive. They. I would say, call that out as the automotive industry for years. Mm -hmm. There's no no shop that will let you, unless it's a handyman on the side, right. uh, is going to let you do it. But if you do a handyman that's putting part, your parts in, and when it burns down, the restaurant burns down, are you is that handyman got insurance to cover your building? You know, those are the things that we have to, uh, that we take responsibility for when we supply the parts. It's the Rich and Angel Show.